Hi, welcome to extendable hashing example. Here we are having eleven numbers that has to be inserted into the uh, uh, memory storage by using extend extendable hashing approach. Uh, let's uh, take the bucket sizes here three. So each bucket can store uh, three elements in the memory locations. Hash function we will take uh, global depth is x. Uh, then given numbers has to be converted into the binary uh, format using the hash function. Then uh, that hash function will return x number of most significant bits. Here we have taken the global depth is x. So each uh, for each binary uh, digit, binary format of the given number, it will take x number of most significant bits to refer the uh, index of hash table. First, we will calculate the binary form of given numbers. So here it is given a uh, binary format of all the numbers uh, for all 11 inputs. Uh, initially, we will take global depth and local depth is 1. So here the global depth is 1 for the given directory. Directory in the sense here has table. Uh, so we have um, uh, used the global depth is 1 and also local depth is also 1. In the local depth it is represented uh, 1 but the bucket can store uh, 3 values in its memory locations because bucket size is here represented as 3. Right. So now we will insert the first value uh, 17 for 17 binary uh, string is 1001. Here we are taking the global depth is uh, 1. Here uh, it is given. Then it will consider most significant bit in the uh, binary string 1. So it will take uh, 1 is the uh, directory index. Uh, then that represent the uh, one of the bucket which is uh, associated with the index 1. So there we are storing the 17. Then we are inserting the 5. So for 5 we are having the binary string 00101. Global depth is here 1. So uh, we will take most significant in the binary string uh, for 5 is 0. Then we will store the binary uh, uh, 5 in the binary string index which is indicating one of the memory bucket here so we are storing the value 5 into the memory bucket which is pointed out by uh, index 0 then we are going to insert the third value 6 which is having the binary string uh, 00110 so here our global depth is 1 then we will return the binary digits of the most significant bit is 0 so we can store the value 6 into the uh, by directory id 0 so this is the directory id 0 which is pointing out the memory bucket this one still bucket is having the empty space we are storing the value in this location 6 uh, then inserting the 22 so for binary string of this 22 is 10111 still we are having the global depth is 1 then it is taking the most significant bit of binary form 1 uh, then we will check the uh, uh, memory bucket which is pointed out by uh, index 1 yes the memory bucket is having the empty space so 22 can be stored in this memory bucket then we are storing the value 24 binary string is 11000 uh, global depth is here 1 uh, most significant bit of uh, given uh, 24 is uh, 1 so we are checking the memory bucket in the um, uh, directory id pointing out 1 uh, still it is having the uh, value uh, um, empty uh, space so we can store the 24 into the memory bucket empty space then inserting the 11 here uh, the 11 is having the string 01011 then global depth is here still 1 we are checking the uh, most significant bit of the 11 which is 0 then we are checking the memory bucket here you look at the still memory bucket is having the empty space which is pointing out by 0 so we are storing the value at the uh, index 0 which is pointing out the memory bucket uh, stored that uh, stored in that memory bucket right so now we are going to store the next value 30 so 30 is having uh, 4 ones 0 binary string uh, global depth is 1 then most significant bit is 1 here 
So, but here you look at that the memory bucket is uh, filled already. We cannot store the 30 because bucket size is already mentioned only three memory look uh, three uh, slots are there in the memory bucket only it can store the three numbers but fourth number we cannot store based upon the uh, most significant bit one which is pointing out this memory bucket so what we have to do we have we are checking local depth is equal to global depth yes local depth is of this memory bucket is equal to the uh, global depth then as per the a procedure in the step number seven of working principle case one uh, we are applying the bucket splits bucket split and directory expansion so here we are incrementing the global depth by one so now global depth will be two so two power two we will get the four uh, directory ids uh, so when you are having the global depth two we have to take uh, uh, two bits to represent the index of directory id so here directory id is representing with two indices two digits indices of binary string 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 then uh, we have to uh, expand the memory buckets also so when you are expanding the memory bucket based upon the uh, indexes we have to take the uh, values so here uh, uh, global uh, here increment the global depth by one it is already done now we are rehashing the uh, uh, we are rehashing the given numbers which are stored in the memory bucket this one so rehashing in the sense we will split the buckets we will split the buckets which is pointed out by one so here the pointed out by one is splitted here uh, this one okay one zero and one one okay one zero and one one right so now after splitting we are having two more buckets so now here the local depth is increase uh, local depth is still which is having one local depth is which is still having one this is also one this is also one so now we are rehashing when you are rehashing look at that for 17 two, two digits will be uh, taken so 17 is stored this is pointed out by one zero then 22 also 10 so that is also stored here then two digits of 24 is 11 so which is uh, re reassigned you look at that we have reassigned the numbers that is called rehashing that is already we have seen so when uh, buckets are uh, overflowing we can uh, create one more uh, uh, hash table with more memory locations double the memory locations right so that is called rehashing here th for 30 double one so 30 is stored here which is pointing out by double one then we are uh, here you observe uh, that uh, the bucket which is underflowing remains unchanged you look at this this bucket is not at all changed okay only the bucket which is overflow only uh, resized that is rehashed resized and rehashed so uh, the remaining buckets are not at all changed that's what mentioned here uh, here the directories are uh, doubled which is having uh, two directories uh, 0 1 and 1 1 pointing to so that's what given here that is uh, established now uh, here then inserting the value 7 uh, so here the value 7 is having the binary string double zero triple one so now global depth is 2 so we have to consider two digits so two digits of the binary string is 0 0 so uh, here since uh, the local depth of the uh, this bucket you look at here this bucket 0 0 this is the 0 0 but the local bucket size is 1 one more element we are going to store what is that one more element one more element is here 7 so 7 we have to store so but the bucket size is small so what we have to do we have to apply the case number 2 in the step number 7 so sorry case number 1 in the step number 7 okay again we have to uh, yes yes case number 2 case number 2 in the bucket 7 because the local depth is here you look at this local depth is less than the okay so local depth is less than the global depth local depth is less than the global depth right so that's why here uh, which is also changed in the previous step 
this is global depth is 2 so now this is local depth is less than the global depth now uh, uh, global depth is also increased right so 2 now uh, we have to apply the rehashing right so rehashing it will consider uh, uh, two digits in the most significant bits so 5 will be stored in the 0 0 pointed out like this and 6 also stored here pointed out by 0 0 then 11 is stored in the 0 1 index so this one is pointed out this one and uh, uh, 7 is also stored in the double zero which is pointed out here so here also we have rehashed the elements uh, after uh, bucket splitting here only we have done bucket splitting in the previous case uh, case number one we have done directory expansion and bucket splitting here only we have done bucket splitting so global depth is also uh, uh, here two and local depth is also here two now uh, we are um, uh, taking the uh, value 10 so that is having the binary string 0 uh, and 1, 2, because global depth is 2, global depth is here 2, local depth is also 2, so 0, 1, we have to consider the 0, 1, so 0, 1 is here, uh, sorry, here in this one, in this one, 0, 1 is here, right, 0, 1 uh, pointing out the 10, 0, out pointing out the 10, so 10 is stored here, then inserting the value 21, so 21 which is uh, pointing out by 10, so here the 10 is uh, denoted uh, the memory location uh, so 10 is having here the 21 is inserted here right then uh, inserting the value 27 so 27 is key having the two digits 11 i mean 11 so 11 is pointing this memory uh, bucket so here it is having the space the 11 is having still space so 27 is stored in this empty memory location so this is the way we have to store all the keys by converting into a binary format and the binary format of uh, digits will uh, point out the directory index that is hash table index the hash table is pointing out the memory buckets based upon the uh, index of the binary format so this is the way to searching the elements and also deleting the elements from uh, hash table by using extendable hashing thanks for watching